My name is Jimmy Williams. I'm a Nambi blackfellow from Canberra. This is the last of the bulga bird what I've seen out at Lake George about 50 years ago. And I've seen them there all stretching themselves so they can get their wings and that flapping and everything like this so they can fly away from this lake because there was no more water left in it. And all the birds went from this dry area, from that dry area, and they flew away to a wet area somewhere, somewhere, I don't know where, but they flew away and haven't come back. I would like to see my grandchildren see the bulga bird today. I would love to see them see the big bulga bird running up and down this beautiful old lake like they used to do, spreading their wings and dancing. They bring dancers and everybody together to learn their dances. And uh, the young ones and the old fellas and that learnt the young ones to dance like these bulga birds and they and they done the bulga bird dance in Nambi country here. Yeah, I'm really proud of my dad. He's been painting for a very, very long time now, around um, 30 years, maybe a bit longer. I've been painting for around 20 years. He's taught me everything I've known. And yeah, he, yeah, it makes me feel good, me and him painting together. This is about the old python guarding her eggs. We call it mugga mugga. That's the actual word for the giant python. Whenever you see eggs on an Aboriginal painting, it means new beginning, rebirth. These are my son's handprints and mine. I got these feathers from dead birds laying around on the roads and stuff when I used to walk my dog. They're very nice feathers. They've been washed and clean. I actually used to hunt pythons and kangaroos, uh, goannas, um, used to fish a lot. This is a painting of the old rainbow serpent. They say it used to, it was a very, very big giant snake serpent. It used to make the waterways when it used to swim, uh, slide around. And it used to make the actual rivers and stuff like that when it used to slide along. And a lot of, yeah, it's a very old story.